Here in this example, I have a triangle with vertices 5, 4, negative 3, 1, and 1, 9. And we want to use our formula to find the area of a triangle in the coordinate plane using determinants in order to find the area of this triangle. So first of all, I'm going to set up my formula. I know that the area equals 1 half, and it's going to be the absolute value of the determinant. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my uh, ordered pairs in here, 5, 4, and then I put a 1 on the end, negative 3, 1, and my 1 on the end, and then 1, 9 with a 1 there on the end. So I want to find this determinant. I'll take its absolute value, and then I'll cut it in half, and that's going to be the area of this triangle given uh, these three vertices. So let's go ahead and use diagonals in order to find the determinant of this 3 by 3. So I'm going to rewrite these columns. 5, negative 3, and 1, and 4, 1, 9. And then I'm going to go ahead and go through and find these diagonals. So 5 times 1 times 1, that's going to be 5. And 4 times 1 times 1, that's going to be 4. And then 1 times negative 3 times 9 is going to be negative 27. And all of these are positive. Now I'm going to do these minor diagonals, go back up the other way. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 9 times 1 times 5 is 45. And finally, 1 times negative 3 times 4 will be negative 12. And since these were the minor diagonals, they are going to get negative signs. So let's go ahead and simplify this. We have a 5 plus 4 makes 9. And I'm just going to rewrite the rest of this. Minus 27 minus 1, minus 45, and then plus 12. So we could go ahead and do the numbers we know. 9 and 12 will make 21. 21 minus 1 is 20. 20 minus 45 will be negative 25. And then minus 27 more will be negative 52. So here's an example of when your determinant comes out to be a negative. So what this means, recall, we're going to find the absolute value of this determinant. So I'm going to take a positive 52, and I'm going to take half of that. So I want the, the area is going to equal half of positive 52. So when I do that, the area will equal 26 square units. So given a triangle with these three vertices in the coordinate plane, I know its area is going to be 26 square units.